In this video, we're gonna talk about mirrors and patterns. Sometimes it's nice to be able to replicate your features instead of make complicated sketches or make the features over and over. So without further ado, mirrors and patterns. So let's get started by making a sketch on the XY plane. And I'll actually, let's go with the center rectangle. We'll give one of the elements here a horizontal. We'll make sure that two of our lines are equal and I'll give this a 1.5. All right, we'll make this also have a circle. And we'll give that a 2.5. Let's extrude. Maybe make that 10 just for ease of seeing this. Let's give a diagonal line here. This is a construction line, and we'll give it a 40, okay, 135 degree angle off of this vertical line. I meant to do a 45 degree angle, but that works. We'll sketch out that little uh, number there, and we'll go with coincident here. All right, so we're going to be coincident right on the edge of this circle adding a parallel 0.4 should work fine and then thickness here maybe an eighth maybe off the origin two should be fine off the origin here 1.25 0.25 0.25, right? So now we're basically fully defined. Just need to add a few more elements, right? A little arc that matches there. And then I can just say mirror. Uh, we'll choose our mirror axis here. And we've made a quarter of this. Now there's a few options, right? You can mirror what we've made again and again or you can circular pattern this from the sketch level. But of course, this video is about solids. And so let's deactivate the sketch, extrude. Maybe I'll simply reverse. And we can add some design intent if we want to, like two geometry or something like that. But from here, what are our options? Well, I can select mirror. And from here, there is a feature that came up, Extrusion 2. And of course, I can click to add and click to remove additional features if I wish. So I can mirror many features at a time. And I can select my mirror plane that I want to mirror over. And there we are. I can also mirror here. And notice it's mirroring what I've already mirrored down here. But I can also click to add my other one just like that. So mirroring is very simple. You select a plane to mirror across and make the mirror. Another thing that can be done if I delete my mirrors from my tree is I can choose mirror, choose this feature here, and then I can choose a face to mirror over. Whoop, I selected my plane again, but I can choose this face right here and that's not the ideal face to mirror over, but it shows you can choose a face on your model. You can create a new plane. You can do all sorts of things to achieve whatever mirror plane that you'd like. We also have the option to choose circular pattern here. So if I open up circular pattern, that's patterning around an axis. I can choose my extrusion to pattern, and I can tell it either a certain angle, like maybe every 10 degrees, I want to have a new one of these. And then I can tell it I want it to be around this axis as my center, and then I have a feature every 10 degrees. I, of course, want to have a feature every 90 degrees with a total of four features. So I can say equally spaced pattern, and that means every time I add a pattern, it evenly spaces it, and so we're always going to have good balance and even spacing and all that. But of course, this channel is meant to have four, so I'll leave it there. So we can take care of this in all in one feature with circular patterns, or we can choose mirrors and handle it that way. But either way, whether you're working with a sketch or with a solid, you have linear and circular patterns that really help make things easier. 
So that's the end of this video, but tune in because we're going to cover some more patterning in the next videos. See you then.